Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Saturday, October 1st. And I remind you that lots of great stuff is at fountainchurchtallahassee.org and that you can join us every Sunday at 1030 here in this sanctuary for worship. Or you can worship with us virtually or by drive up. My scripture today is Romans 15, 4. For whatever was written in the former days was written for our instruction, that through endurance and through the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. This is the word of the Lord. Well, my daily message today is somewhat exotic. It is titled, The Lost City of the Monkey God. Yes, that's right. Well, in Honduras, many decades ago, a lost city was found. Now, the locals were aware of it. No one was quite sure where it was because it was deep in one of the most uncharted rainforests. But it was discovered, but then the man that discovered it died before he could relay an accurate map or directions to it, so it remained undiscovered until just about a year ago. And it is thought to be uh, a remnant of a South American civilization that existed before the Aztecs and the Mayans in the 11th century BC. One of the benefits of looking for this lost city was that scientists discovered hundreds of rare animals, birds, and insects, including dozens of previously unknown species and dozens more of species that had been thought to have gone extinct. So it was quite a productive adventure. And they did discover the temple of the lost city of the monkey god, and it was an impressive civilization to be sure. And they're still trying to figure out a little more about what their lives were like and with whom they traded and who influenced them and who did they have uh, wars against and all those kinds of questions that scientists seek to discover. But I thought that I would reflect on the monkey god, and it was a beautiful and impressive monkey god head. It reminded me that, truthfully, civilizations and religions come and go. Everyone seeks ultimacy, seeks a connection with something higher. We are grateful that the one God that has endured for thousands and thousands of years is the God that we also know in Jesus Christ. And we are privileged to know that it is a God that loves us, a God that cares about us, and a God that has a future for us. Yes, religions, civilizations, they will come and go. But the one true God that we know in Jesus Christ will endure forever. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the human spirit of adventure. We thank you that we can discover many things about our past, but we are guided by your holy word, by the presence of your spirit, and by the knowledge and love and grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.